Hey guys, Yasil here, back with another video. Um, so instead of doing a China Mill video, I'm, I'm going to do a review or a uh, tutorial, a quick tutorial of a IoT switch I built. So I'm going to, I'm going to go through a schematic uh, real quick just now, um, but just to show you the finished product of what I built. Um, basically, if I connect a, um, a AC appliance to this end of the switch and connect this to... Uh, my wall socket, I can control whatever I connect to this switch um, over the internet. Um, and this is all done uh, using an ESP8266, um, a 5 volt relay, a 5 volt to 3.3 volt voltage regulator, and a old um, cell phone charger. So here I have a schematic of um, my the IoT switch that I built. Um, and just at the outset, I want to I want to make it clear that this was just a proof of concept, um, and uh, it is the, this design is a bit dangerous. After speaking to a few colleagues and and, and friends of mine, uh, I, I should have used a two channel relay, uh, but at the time I only had a one channel relay. So I'll get into more details just now uh, regarding uh, why this design isn't the safest design. Uh, but let me quickly run through um, the the schematic. Um, so here I have. The AC input, uh, that's your earth, live and neutral. And earth and live are going directly to my AC output. So herein lies the, the danger the danger factor um, because effectively I'm switching on neutral. So the relay, uh, I'm, I'm connecting from my AC input, neutral is going to the relay on normally open. Uh, and I have a, the AC output connected to the common part on the relay. Once the relay is switched, um, I'm effectively switching on neutral. Uh, now, this means that the AC output is going to always have uh, one phase of the AC going to it, which is live, which which isn't safe uh, because although the appliance will be off, uh, it's still regarded as hot. So bearing that in mind, um, I have, so I am switching on neutral. So I have neutral going to, into the relay um, and I have a the the signal that's going to turn is that is going to uh, switch the relay is coming from from an ESP eight two six six. Now remember that this ESP eight two six six module uh, operates off three point three volts um, and not five volts. So I needed to convert an AC um, uh, current coming coming through um, into a to a DC. So what I did, I had an old cell phone charger lying around, which was, which is actually this, um, and I, I took this apart and took took the insides, uh, the the actual board in, in this uh, adapter, and because using this, this this connects to AC and I, and you get five volts out via USB. So I I used this um, AC to DC converter or, or cell phone charger uh, to to get my five volts out. Um, now I needed to convert this five volts to three point three because the ESP eight zero six six requires three point three and not five. Um, so I used a DC to DC buck converter. Um, the signal that I'm receiving from the ESP eight zero six six is coming from uh, well, what's going to produce that signal is uh, uh, the GPIO pin two, and and uh, the software behind this is actually using an application called Blink. Um, but I'll, I'll show that in the demo uh, just now. So having a look at the actual build, um, here I have the 5 volt relay um, and the signal is sold into the GPIO pin of the ESP8266. This is going to produce uh, the signal to switch the relay. Um, coming in from my AC input I have connected here uh, is my neutral uh, is Coming to the normally open uh, connector is neutral and common is also neutral and that's going to go um, to the output AC connection. Um, this board here is the actual cell phone charger, the, the inside of the cell phone charger. You can actually see a bit of the USB port down there. Uh, so basically this is this is taking in uh, live and neutral and that's producing the 5 volts out. Um, the 5 volts is going to go into this DC to DC converter and convert the 5 volts to 3 volts, uh, which will be given to the ESP8266. So here's a quick demo of the IoT switch uh, working with Blink. 
Um, I have the switch connected to AC input on this side and I have a cell phone charger connected uh, with a USB cable um, to a little uh, LED light that I built. Um, but the the AC outputs on this side and I'm just using this for just to illustrate how the uh, the Internet of Things switch works. So here I have the Blink application and when I click this button you can hear the relay actually switch and the light come on and this is all done over the internet uh, this isn't even connected to my local Wi-Fi network So once again it turns on and then turns off like I said guys this isn't the safest Internet of Things switch um, it was it was just a proof of concept ideally um, you'd you'd like to have a two-channel relay that can not only switch uh, neutral but s switch live as well. Um, so both channels will be switched when the when there's a signal given to the relay. Um, so if you're gonna build something like this, I do recommend using a two relay switch rather than a one relay switch. Um, thanks for watching. Uh, I hope this was helpful to someone. Um, I'm going to leave the AliExpress listings for all the items that I purchased for uh, this uh, Internet of Things switch. Um, forgive me for any mistakes and thanks for watching.